power system operation and control important questions for the end semester exams today we are going to discuss the selective important questions in power system operation and control unit wise in the priority order the first unit introduction question number 1 draw and explain the basic pf and qv loops real power frequency and reactive power voltage control loops so this question is very important you keep this in priority 1 then second question explain the role of nldc and rldc in power system the national load dispatch center and regional load dispatch center and explain the current power scenario in india third priority question explain the need for voltage and frequency regulation in power system so there are certain points what is the need for voltage and frequency regulations those points you can concentrate and study and this is a very important question the fourth priority briefly describe the importance of load forecasting and what are all the methods of load forecasting and explain one or two computational methods fifth priority the numerical problems based on the load curve and load duration curve so we'll see some example problems here this type of problems the time and load data are given and we need to calculate the maximum demand unit generated per day average load load factor and many other factors are there uh, diversity factor plant capacity factor so like that so like that you can study those formula you can able to answer this questions i will give the details in the description with the link you can check out that and uh, you can refer the videos and one more problem a power system has to meet the following load demands three different loads between different time zones and we need to calculate the diversity factor unit generated per day load factor and we need to plot the daily load curve and load duration curve so this type of problem is important so these are the selected important questions in unit 1 after completing this if you have time you can study about uh, the plant level and system level control load shedding and high landing operation of the power system this will be included in unit 1 now we'll see the selected important questions in unit 2 real power frequency control first priority question what are all the components of a speed governance system of alternator derive the transfer function and sketch a block diagram the complete speed governor mechanism and modeling you need to concentrate almost in all question paper you can find this uh, question so it is a very very important question so i kept this in the first priority question number 2 explain the load frequency control of single area system with a neat block diagram so consider the block diagram and derive the expression for load frequency control of a single area system in both the cases static and dynamic analysis in uncontrolled and controlled cases and third priority question speed load characteristics problem that is triangle type problem so we'll see some example problem in the next slide and the fourth priority question numerical problems based on single area and two area system so these are the selected important questions in unit 2 in addition to this if you have time the static analysis of two area system and also you can concentrate on economic dispatch with load frequency control and state variable model then tie line bias control of two area system so in this priority you concentrate and study it will be very helpful for your end semester exams now we'll see some example problems for the speed load characteristics and single area and two area in speed load characteristics this type of problem the two generators with the drooping characteristics specified two different methods of problems so i'll give the details in the description so you can refer to it and uh, watch those videos so that you can able to understand this problems single area two area problem this type of problem in single area and uh, this type of problem in two area system now we'll move on to the third unit in unit 3 reactive power and voltage control 
first priority question draw the circuit for a typical excitation system and derive the transfer function model and draw the block diagram so first you need to draw the excitation system model explain the operation then you have to derive the transfer function for that and finally draw the block diagram and in second priority explain the different methods of uh, voltage control so you'll be having uh, so many methods of voltage control for example uh, tap changing transformer statcom svc etc those methods of voltage control is important you can study as a second priority in third priority the numerical problems based on reactive power and voltage control we'll see one example problem in the next slide so in addition to this three question you can add one more question if you want explain the steady state and dynamic response of avr loop so these are the selected important questions in third unit this is reactive power voltage control problem this type of problem is important already asked in university exams i will move on to the fourth unit economic operation of power system first priority question the coordination equation and flow chart algorithm of economic dispatch with loss and without loss and second priority the numerical problems based on economic dispatch third priority numerical problems based on unit commitment and fourth priority the statement of unit commitment and what are all the constraints available in unit commitment and with the help of the flow chart you can explain the forward dynamic programming for the unit commitment solution so these are the selected important questions in unit 4 now we'll see some example problem of economic dispatch and unit commitment in economic dispatch a three unit system optimal scheduling is uh, asked in this problem this type of problem is important and a gradient method problem and in unit commitment brute force enumeration technique and priority list using full load average production cost so this type of problems are important in unit commitment and even in economic dispatch you can concentrate on base point and participation factor method problem in this type of problem is important in that so these are the selected important questions in unit 4 now we'll move on to unit 5 computer aided control of power system first priority question scada you have to explain briefly about scada what are the functions carried out in scada unit and the remote terminal unit so that is very important with the complete block diagram and second priority question the various operating stages of power system draw the state transition diagram and explain the control strategies so the diagram consists of a normal state alert state emergency state extreme state and restorative state so that is the second priority question and third explain various functions of energy management system and energy control center you can draw a diagram for this and explain the functions that is very important and the fourth priority question is explain the phasor measurement unit so these are the selected important questions in unit 5 and in addition to this you can add one more thing also the state estimation with respect to power system and the weighted least square estimation method also you can add along with this question so these are the selected important question in power system operation and control unit wise for the end semester exam preparation all the best students